Hey yo, what is up guys? Akash here back with another video. A few videos back we took a look at the EdgeX from the MatchX. So this was an artificial intelligence based uh, uh, product with a screen, with a camera and with a LoRa module as well. So what it did is it captured images, it did image recognition using artificial intelligence and then transmitted the data, the captured data or the recognized data and uh, used to send it through LoRa to large distances up to a hundred of kilometers. So this was a bit of an expensive device and I wanted to make something of my own. So I recently uh, came across the Husky lens, which is this device right here. This also has a camera uh, display uh, uh, processor for image recognition and artificial intelligence, but it does not have a LoRa module. So for the LoRa part, we will sol be solving that problem with an RYLR907 LoRa module from Rayax and this uh, Husky lens is from DF robot. So we'll be kind of connecting both of these, uh, the Husky lens and the uh, Reax module uh, so that we can send in face recognition, object tracking, object recognition data over through LoRa to uh, far distances like hundreds of kilometers. So if that is something that you're interested in making, we'll be making it today right over here. So stay tuned to the video. <music> This video is brought to you by PCB Gogo. They specialize in PCB fabrication and assembly from prototype to mass production. They deliver high quality, bare and assemble PCBs faster and cheaper. PCB Gogos have been providing PCB fabrication and assembly for domestic customers in China for more than 10 years. They cater over 3000 PCB orders daily with a sales of $20 million a year. In celebration of their 5th anniversary, they have wonderful offers for all of their customers. Do check them out through the link in the description box below. So the main heart of the project for today, the artificial intelligence and the image recognition part is the Husky lens from DF Robot. It comes in an attractive packaging. There it is sliding the box down. There's the Husky lens. It comes with some accessories as well. It comes with a silicone case. I'll put it over. It looks pretty classy when we put this over the Husky lens. There comes this uh, mount for the Husky lens as well, wherein you can mount this like this and mount the Husky lens over like this and can put it over a robot chassis and all that. It comes with some screws as well. We'll keep all this aside for now and we'll first take a look at the Husky lens. So and on the Husky lens from on this side, uh, there are a couple of LEDs. These are white LEDs that can be controlled from the software. There's an RGB LED over here. There's a slider switch for selecting the options. Uh, there's a push button just like you have in a camera on the right hand side. Uh, there are a couple of connectors. This is the programming header. This is the serial or the I squared C header that you have for uh, controlling your Husky lens or getting data from the Husky lens. There are a couple of ICs over here. I suppose uh, one of them or a couple of them are for the artificial intelligence and another one is a microcontroller, this one. Then you have a camera obviously for capturing images, for uh, applying image recognition on. You have two mounting holes over here and you have a USB port over here. It's a good gold and black finish board so it looks pretty premium from DF Robot. On the other side you have a LCD screen. I guess it's a 2 to 3 inch LCD screen. So without any further ado we can just power it on. So it comes with preloaded firmware out of the box. As soon as we power it off we see the Husky lens and it boots up in instantly. There are some options which you can navigate through uh, with the uh, button on the top left and on the first option we have the face recognition option so I'll quickly uh, grab my tablet so as soon as I get it into the frame it's it says face detected if I capture this image by clicking the right it says to capture another image to learn so there it goes face ID 2 detected then I slide over it says face ID 2 and now it has kind of recognized the face of our Prime Minister it says uh, face ID 2. Let's take another look. It says Face ID 2 again. It says Face ID 2 again. Face ID 2. Yes, it recognizes the face and there it is. So it does the recognition job pretty well. Apart from the face recognition feature, it has object tracking, object recognition, line tracking, color recognition, tag recognition, and then there's this general settings option. But we'll be playing around with many of them today. 
uh, but this is not the entire piece that we'll be dealing with today we will be obviously using a reacts lora module uh, which is a very good to use lora module so this lora module will be taking the data from the from the husky lens the husky lens will recognize the images capture its data and will send it over to the reacts module once the reacts module captures that data it will send it through lora through far far distances so uh, i've done a pretty comprehensive uh, video on the reacts module it's at commands we have made a messenger uh, using an esp8266 as well a lora based messenger i'll i'll link that video over here if you haven't seen it go take a look you'll get to learn a lot about the reacts lora modules so we can't directly connect the reacts lora module to the husky lens we'll be using an arduino to do that so let's jump into it so the transmitter side of the circuit is connected the the husky lens is connected using this ribbon cable which comes with the within the box with the husky lens to the arduino's four pins then you have the reacts module as this is just the transmitter side wherein we'll be just transmitting data which is received from the husky lens to the other lora module which i have over here uh, i've just connected one pin of the serial port of the reacts module to the arduino and it's connected to this series resistors which goes uh, which basically divides the voltage as the arduino is a 5 volt logic level device and the reacts module is a 3.3 uh, volt logic level device so this is the circuit diagram of this circuit it's pretty simple to connect you can hit the pause button take a detailed look at the circuit all the other details and this circuit diagram will be available in the instructables and github page of this project which i'll link in down in the description box below so go ahead over there on the other hand for the receiver we are just using an esp8266 fire beetle uh, device from df robot and it's directly connected to the reax module again we have the same reax rylr907 uh, lora module which i've connected to the esp8266 the circuit is pretty simple this is the same circuit and the same code goes into the esp8266 as in the lora messenger a video i'll i'll be putting the circuit diagram and the code for this in the github and instructables as well so do check that out otherwise if you want to know how this works and uh, how we'll be using it you can definitely check out the video i've done earlier so i've flashed the arduino with the code as well uh, as on github and i've flashed the uh, esp8266 with the code as well i'll be connecting this esp8266 for a serial monitor to my laptop and i've connected the husky lens and the arduino to power using these two usb cables so you can see the serial monitor on the right side of the screen right now it says uh, no block or arrow appears on the screen because it's lying flat black on the screen but essentially we are transmitting data through the reacts lora modules to that node which you're seeing the data on this side this these nodes can be separated kilometers apart because lora has that magic and you'll still be able to receive that data on the other side so we'll quickly bring back our tablet so now as soon as i bring my husky lens to recognize an image uh, here in the case face id 2 we see that the message on the receiver on the serial port changes and it returns the entire command with the id similarly if we change the uh, thing to maybe object recognition right now we because there is nothing learning and we see there is this plus sign over here on the serial monitor it says nothing learned please uh, press the learn button so that the husky lens can learn something and uh, we'll put it uh, on the screen it it recognizes uh, our prime minister as the person i'll just click the right button and it uh, learns the image it says person id 1 and on the husky lens serial monitor we see that it returns us a command with the id of the uh, recognized image it again says person id 1 and you can uh, play with the options of line tracking as well line tracking is useful in line following robots and tagging things like that you can also recognize color color recognition then you have tag recognition but there are a lot of things that can be done using the husky lens and essentially now we are transmitting that data so you can be remote controlling your robot or your devices based on image recognition or you can make a wireless uh, long range device 
wherein you will know who is the person who is in front of the camera and according to that you can take some steps using the LoRa modules. So the possibilities are endless. Using this basic circuit, you can change the code of the Arduino of the receiver side, you can use it to control heavy machinery, other things and all that. If you're interested in more projects like these wherein I use the data from the Husky Lens and transfer it through LoRa and maybe make some robot, image recognition robot or a wireless doorbell sort of project, do let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Also hit the bell icon to stay notified. This is Akash signing off.